Good morning. Is it important to walk worthy of God? Is it even possible? Today we're looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 10 to 12. Here's what it says. You are our witnesses, and God also, how devoutly and justly and blamelessly we behaved ourselves among you who believe. As you know, how we exhorted and comforted and charged every one of you, as a father does his own children, that you would walk worthy of God, who calls you into his kingdom and glory. So Paul and the gospel workers who were with him spoke very strongly about how we should live. And you know, that would have fallen on completely deaf ears if, if they themselves had been behaving wrongly, immorally, unethically, questionably even, uh, on the side. People would have said, yes, well, they, they say this, but they do that. So it would have, it would have completely failed. So we know that Paul and his associates who were doing this gospel work in Thessalonica, what they were living was, was on display. It was being seen. And so it, there was a consonance, a harmony between the way they lived and the things they preached. And so that's why it had so much power, because this wasn't just another person chattering and just another person with something they're preaching away and saying, but they were living it out. He calls the Thessalonians to witness, and he calls God to witness about the life that, that he's living. That's pretty bold. A lot of us today, we would say, no, well, don't, don't, don't look at my life, but what we are saying is the right thing to do. Paul is very different here. Paul is saying, yes, look at my life. Transparent, open book, check it out. Am I doing what I'm preaching? That's a pretty bold thing to say. And yet when Paul says it, it had power because Paul was doing what he was preaching. Another thing that we see here is the family. We saw it uh, with this emphasis about the mother cherishing her child in 2 verse 7. Now we see the father in uh, chapter 2 verse 11 charged every one of you as a father does his own children. So there's family. Family is another thing that sort of dropped out today. A lot of preachers, a lot of people who teach from the Bible are not emphasizing family. Why? Because in the culture, family is not emphasized. You know, a family can be whatever fuzzy group of random uh, things, you, you people you drop in one room, and that's suddenly called a family. That's not necessarily a family. I'm glad we can all come together and we can become like family. But here's an emphasis on, on family that starts in Genesis and carries on, and Paul's got it right here. Rarely do you see the emphasis on the family in worldly media. I mean, it's almost always the same. You know, the, the, uh, the wife is uh, brilliant and witty. The husband is a, a stupid, useless oaf, and the kids are smart and kind of sassy. That's kind of the picture of family we usually get from, from Hollywood. That's not a Bible picture of family. The husband needs to lead, and the woman needs to work with him. They're a, a team, but they need to do it in God's order. So the, the man will lead, and the woman will, will lead the family in her particular roles. I like how Paul is comparing his exhortations to the church here, to the exhortations of a loving father to his family. I like that. We need to see more of that. Finally, did you notice also in verse 12, that we're not only called into God's kingdom, we're called into His glory. Would you pray with me now? Dear Father in heaven, thank you for calling us up higher, calling us to higher ground. Paul does it here, and he doesn't, he doesn't relent, and we need to do it. We need to accept it in our lives and go up higher, and we need to not relent, Lord. We need to be on your team. Help us, Lord. We've failed many times, but help us to come up higher. Thank you for the promises of Scripture. Thank you for the exhortations and the, and the earnest desire you fill us with to come up higher. Lord, bless us and so that we can be uh, not only part of your kingdom, but also to experience your glory. This is our prayer today. In Jesus' name, amen. So believers are called, consistently called, to come up higher. And this is part of the blessing that came upon this little group of believers that became the Thessalonian church. And it's part of the power that we need to see today in God's church today. God be with you through this day.